Hi, this is tutorial number 14 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.19. In this video, we'll take a look at using vehicle types. This is a new feature for this version. With it, vehicles will only spawn and merge onto routes with matching vehicle types. By default, only the default vehicle type is available. To add your own custom vehicle types, go to the scripts folder and find in the enums folder an AI traffic vehicle type script. Open that, and an enum is basically just a list and our list currently contains just the default entry. So to add new items to this list, add a comma and then add in your new items on a new line. And that's about it. So save the script when you're done. Unity will recompile and now you have new vehicle types. So I've added types for blue. I'll go ahead and assign that to the blue car. Green. Gray. Orange pink and purple. So the next thing we want to do is set up some AI traffic waypoint routes in the scene that will demonstrate how we use these vehicle types. So to do that, I'll select tools, simple traffic system, STS tools window, and I'll create an AI traffic controller and a spline route creator. So for the spline route creator, I'll go ahead and I'll set six routes and I'll change the waypoint frequency to something like 0.01. And now I'll hold down shift and I'll just click around a little bit. And this is creating a spline. And let me enable the gizmo so we could visualize it. If we zoom in, we could see that we have the waypoints. They're all stacked on top of each other and the routes. So we'll give these an offset. Let's do negative 12 negative eight, negative four, and I'm just offsetting on the x-axis. We'll leave that one at zero. This one will be four and eight, and then I'll hit refresh. So now I have six waypoint routes with about a four meter offset between each. Okay, cool. So finally, I will delete the spline route point creator. I don't need that anymore. And I'll switch configure mode to spawn points, and I'll load the routes and then I'll press set up random spawn points. And I don't need the STS tools window anymore. So now I have six routes with spawn points. They're all set up for pooling. Let me select the AI traffic controller and lock it. And then I'll grab all of these vehicles and add them to my traffic prefabs list for the pool. By default, the three that we did not change are still using the default vehicle type. And the other ones are all using custom vehicle types. We're not using the random vehicle. Let's select the AI traffic controller again, and here we can enable pooling. Let's assign the center point as the main camera. So our main camera is all the way over here. For the AI traffic waypoint routes, they have the vehicle types array. By default, they all have one index, which is default. So they support all of the vehicles out of the box because they only use the default vehicle type. But once you start adding new vehicle types in there, for those vehicle types to be able to be used on a route, you need to make the route support them by adding a new index element. So let's add six new elements for each of these types to this one. That way this top route can support any of our vehicle types that we have. And I'm going to rename this route to underscore any. And for the subsequent routes, I'll just go down the list. So only blue cars will spawn on the blue route. And then green, gray, orange, and pink we'll use for the other ones. Right, and let's just make sure these all have the right tag on them. So that one supports green, this one supports gray, this one is orange, and this one is pink. Okay, so now if I press play, we'll see that we have our vehicle spawned. And let's adjust the camera a little bit so that we can see. And we'll zoom in a little bit. So we can see only pink vehicles spawned on the pink route. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Only orange spawned on the orange route. 
gray on the gray route, green on the green route, blue on the blue route, and we have any type of vehicle that spawned on the any route. So now if I select the AI traffic controller, for example, and just take a look at the scene, we'll see we have a really small pooling zone. So I'll just increase that to cover the entire route distance. And on each of the routes, I'll go ahead and I'll increase the max density to something like, I don't know, 50. So now we're, we're spawning more vehicles and let's deselect the route. And we could see that only the vehicles of the appropriate type are being spawned in the appropriate route. And that's how you use vehicle types with simple traffic system. So when you configure routes in this way, vehicles will only take a route if they have an option, if it's a matching route. If there are no matching routes, it, the vehicle will just take a random option. And that's about it. Thanks for checking out the video. Bye.